Hey guys, we're going to shoot a real quick video here on how to uh, cut and install a crown. So, people always ask me how to do this. So, I figured we could make a quick video. Um, if you come over here and look on the saw, most saws actually already have the numbers on there for you. So, you can actually s set the saw up before you even do any of the crazy measurements. So, here's the 31.6 on the one side, and then 33.9 for your actual bevel. So you put your miter on 31.6, your bevel on 33.9, and you cut it, and literally when you cut it, you'll see it cuts it both ways, and then that gives you your compound miter. So then what I do is, I build one of these when we get into a house like this, and once we start actually putting it in, we go around like this to each corner, and we'll fit the crown, because not all corners are actually the same so I stick it in there and then I'll literally draw in the corner and so we do it all the way around make sure it fits right all right so after you mark your corners then you can do one thing you can actually run a chalk line um, this is kind of a short space, so all I'm going to do is just use a level to give me some marks in the middle here. So when I run my crown, I'm going to make sure that the crown is actually on the bottom. The bottom of the crown is running on that line. Then one of the trickiest parts of doing crown is, is measuring it. So. What I always do is, is I'll measure from one direction and I'll mark an even number. So I'm going to mark 60. Then I come from the other direction and what I have is, is 40 and 3 quarters. So 60 plus 40 and 3 quarters gives you 100 and 3 quarters. And that's exact. So then what I'm going to do is, is I go around and I measure each one. We mark the corners and then we chalk line around the bottom. Sounds like a lot, but it goes pretty quick when you have two guys doing it. So then once I have it laid out, we go to cutting the saw. When we cut with the saw, we're not worried about all the different angles and everything because I already have the saw set up for that. Well, all we want to do is, is get our measurements and cut it exactly to our measurements. So we got 40 and 5 eighths.
I do is, you see my mark here, I usually cut it a couple times. I cut it a little long the first time, and then I, I get it right where I want it for my second one. Just inside my wall here. I like to get it nice on the lines. And that way. Lock it. Alright. Now. Got some pieces cut here and we're going to actually do a seam because if you were to do a big room and you have walls that are longer than 16 feet you would need to actually splice them so put that right in there So what we got here is I keep the bevel, I keep the bevel of the saw at the 33.9, but I put the miter at 90 degrees. And so when I want to know what to make this, I measure from my corner and I line it up right with this edge, which is a hair less than 38, so we'll go 37 and 15 sixteenths. Okay, so what we did was we're gonna do a seam right here going into the corner. So we measure from the corner to the back side of this. It's 24 and 3 eighths. So I go from this corner to the short point, the back, 24 and 3 eighths. So then once we put it in there, Kind of like a keystone piece, and it literally disappears into the hole. And so, shoot it up. And of course, we got a couple different things going on here, but everything's said and done. Little caulk and paint, the plumber, the the painter make all this beautiful so and that's how you do crown pretty much <laughs> 